Now, the whole purpose of landing the lander on the surface of Europa is to drop a probe down to the what is theorized to be a liquid ocean underneath that icy crust. So if we were to do a Boolean operation, we could cut a hole through the ice and then take our probe and through an internal heating element, we can have that probe slowly melt its way through that icy surface and drop down into the liquid subsurface ocean. Now everything we're doing here is the working interface of Form Z. There's no pre-rendered animations. This is using Form Z uh, in the interactive shaded mode using OpenGL to interactively work with your 3D geometry. As the probe is lowered into the subsurface ocean, there's a tether which stays connected to the lander to be able to communicate the data back to the lander vehicle. And inside the probe is the cryobot. Now, the cryobot consists of many standard mechanical components that can be modeled in Form Z, or perhaps there can be designers using other programs. Just simply take that file, drag and drop it into Form Z, and you can add that to your current project. Form Z supports over 30 different import export formats, including IGES, STEP, SAT, DWG, and DXF. Now when you import this geometry, one thing that's really nice is the capability to still edit the parametric controls, even if the entire history tree is stripped. Instead of having a dump solid, you actually have geometry that is uh, converted into a representation that is understood by Form Z and still allows you to edit the control parameters. Then we just simply take that component and move it into position. You can also import 2D information. So we can import a 2D drafting file for maybe one of the outer housing plates. And with this imported 2D drawing, these are elements as if they were created inside of Form Z. For example, the uh, view of the top plate here, what we can do is take that spline curve and extrude that into a surface. And if we were to edit the controls, notice that the controls are the original spline curve. And one thing we can do in Form Z is modify the personality of these objects by converting it into a different type of object. So for example here we'll make it uh, plain, smooth, which in this case is a NURBS object. We can reconstruct that, uh, modify the number of controls in there. And we can also insert controls anywhere that we want. So for example I can uh, use this tool to insert a row of controls right there and maybe a row in that area. And then I can just simply take these controls and start to push and pull on those to create an asymmetrical editing of that surface. For example, let's take this control and slide that out a little bit to create the area for the bolt hole flange. Now to insert the holes, what we can do is go back to the 2D drawing that we imported in. And I'm going to select the profiles of the 2D drawing for the holes and select the surface and I can actually pick those profiles up and project them right onto that surface. Now I can still edit this NURB surface even after making all the changes in the shape and punching holes in there, projecting holes on there, I can still edit the overall surface. I can also edit in this parameter space view. On the left is the 3D view of the object, on the right is a flattened top projection view of that NURB surface. So I can move the holes anywhere that I want, or I can also reshape the holes. Maybe grab the controls on top here and stretch the hole, change the radius. And the surface updates like that. And for the holes on the sides, we'll go back to the traditional insert hole tool that we used earlier to simply click, type in 0.5, and now we have a half inch hole. Now this is a paper thin surface, so let's, let's go back to our parallel tool. According to the drawing there it says quarter inch, so let's type in quarter inch, click on the object, and now that surface is now a solid object of uniform thickness. So now the outer housing plate has been created from the 2D drawing, and then we can just simply take that and move that into position. And then we can turn off the layer which contains the 2D drawing information. And that's just some other ways that Form Z works well with other programs using the extensive import export capabilities in Form Z. And now the cryobot is free to maneuver through that subsurface ocean and send data 
back to Earth. In addition to the many modeling tools in FormZ, FormZ also has information management and attributes that can be assigned to your objects. We can calculate volume, surface area, and mass properties based on these engineering analysis parameters that we assign to our object. There's many other attributes, such as the server style texture that is assigned to each of these objects. You can create your own server style texture, or you can use one of the many predefined materials and assign that to your object. You can also create your own custom attribute, such as part number, quantities, designer, dates, a fully customizable attribute system. There's also an information management system. So you can go into your project and extract data from your project. Here we have a list of many different fields that in which some are some of the standard attributes that come with your object and some of them are customizable attributes that were assigned and created for this project. We can select by a specific set of criteria. Maybe pick all the objects that are on the solar panel assembly layer. Formsy automatically finds all those objects for us and gives us the data such as the weight of each of these objects, the total weight, part numbers, quantities, and we can export that to an Excel spreadsheet.